All right, we're gonna go over how to replace the extruder bracket, either a 3D printed one or one that we've sent you on an A5 or A31. So the tools that we're gonna need are a two millimeter Allen wrench and a 2.5 millimeter Allen wrench. And both of these are found in the bag that came with your printer. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to loosen this lever right here. And you'll see that this one is just a little bit too big because it's the two millimeter. So we'll get our 2.5 millimeter to loosen that. Now this has the spring attached to it. So it's a little easier if you kind of push down on the spring while you loosen it to be able to take it all the way off. Now we want to be careful because the spring is going to push this back and we don't want the spring to fly out and go across the room or anything when we get it loosened and then we can pull it out. Maybe you can twist it by hand too. There we go. And this part comes right off. And here's our spring. Now we'll need this flat wrench or any other wrench or pliers to loosen this coupler right here. Because we want to take this coupler off. There we go. Tape that coupler off. And then now we'll use the two millimeter Allen wrench to take off this, this, and this right here from the motor. And then the motor's gonna fall, so we wanna hold onto it. They might be kinda tight, so you can use this side to get a little bit more leverage. There we go. And then when we take this one off, the motor is gonna fall. So I wanna watch it. Kinda hold on to the bottom there. There we go. Now, we can, we can blow off these particles that might be on there. <sighs> kinda get them out of the way and clean that up a little bit. Take this old bracket off, and again, we can kinda dust it a little. Take our new bracket, and this will be the reverse. So the one that's flat, that one will go right here where it's kind of inlaid. And it's flat so it can go flush with the lever that's going to go on there. So we'll get it lined up. And then this will screw right into the top of our motor. And then same one with the other two. Now we'll take our lever, put this bolt back in it, and then the spring is going to go between this part and this part of our extruder. So this is where it can be a little tricky because this will fit in place and go into that hole, but that spring has to be right here. So we're going to take the spring out and make sure that we line it up like that. And then when it's lined up, when you push and squeeze this, this screw will drop into place. And then now, if we squeeze this a little, or we use our 2.5 Allen wrench, then we can tighten this back up. And we want to get this nice and snug because we don't want it to be lifting off at all. We want to make sure that there's not a gap right here between the lever and the extruder bracket where it's lifting up. So you want to make sure that you get this tight enough to where that is through there. Whoop. All right. And then now, We'll take our Capricorn tube and screw it right back on here. Not too tight, just tight enough to where it's hold, holding in there because we don't want to strip the threads out, especially if it's 3D printed. Get it nice and snug. And there we go. Now you've got your new extruder bracket and you're ready to print. If you've got this little part right here, you can kind of clip that in place. And now you're back in business. Now if you need anything at all, go ahead and reach out to service at nwa3d.com and we'll get you going. Good luck.